What's up dudes and dudettes? Welcome back. This is Sugi Strategy here once again and today we're going to be continuing the World Editor uh, Beginner Guide series and today we're going to be talking about way gates and teleportation and there's many forms of teleportation inside the game through items such as a scroll of tome portal uh, then you have the scepters which send the units back to the base then you have obviously the way gates and we're going to be looking into those today and also trigger based uh, teleportation as well so let's look into the very easiest way to do teleportation which is through the way gate and i have a custom unit which i've created the way gate and you need obviously two of them. In certain cases, you can just create one in case you just want a one-sided uh, transfer. But in this case, I think most people want to have one that teleports you from point A to point B. And we're going to be selecting both of these and we're going to be changing it to the neutral passive. We don't really want to give uh, players the uh, visibility over the buildings and in case it might bug out for some whatever reason because the current beta batch of the world editor has some bugs guys and that's why it has kind of prevented me from doing certain specific videos regarding abilities especially which seems to be a bit glitch so we are kind of waiting for new patches so when we click the way gate uh, we are able to set a way gate active and this allows you to choose a region and let's go into the region system now so we hit R and this opens a region palette and you can create regions and these are just areas here um, which you know represent an area okay and you can select them by double clicking them we're going to be making this TP1 meaning teleport 1 the color doesn't matter this is something that we want to indicate maybe a pairing if you're going to have multiple teleportations maybe it's easier to color code them so you know which goes to which place and we're going to choose green and we're going to be uh, doing another one here and we're going to be making it TP2 and we're going to be making it green again. And now um, it is very important to understand that it doesn't need to be this specific way gate uh, to make the teleport. It can be even a castle, a farm, it can be even a unit. Basically, what they need is an ability, which is called the Waygate ability. It's a unit spell. You can find it on the object editor. I'm going to show you in case you don't know. So we're going to be opening up the object editor and going into the building. So here we have the ability, Waygate ability, and that's the a smart key. You can obviously find it from the search panel. But this is important, obviously. And if, if you're not making the building invulnerable, so once it's destroyed, the way gate is no longer functioning, which is actually a kind of cool thing. If you want to have that type of system inside your map, whatever purpose it may be, there's many things you can do with teleportations. So how are we going to be doing it? So it's very simple. So the way gates, we're going to be activating that and we're going to be choosing TP1. And it means, no, sorry, actually, we're going to be choosing it goes to TP2. And then on the other building, we're going to be doing TP1. So once unit, unit under enters the away gate, they will be teleported here and they will be teleported backwards. Okay. We're going to be moving into the actual map testing later on. Now I want to show you the trigger version of this. So we have two caves here. Okay. That texture is still from the old Warcraft. It doesn't look very good, but bear with me, guys. Uh, I think your eyes will survive this one. So we're going to be doing another thing here. We're going to be opening region palette and we're going to make these. We're going to make a bit smaller one because that chooses the area which will be the exact location where the unit enters that spot. It will transfer to the other side. So this is going to be gay, gay not gave, but it's going to be cave uh, east. No, sorry, this is west. God damn it. And then we're going to have another one called cave east. And now we're going to be entering to the trigger uh, palette, F4. And we're going to create a new trigger. We're going to call it teleportation. And there's a lot of things which I'm not going to be covering in this video regarding triggers. So one thing that is very important to understand that certain uh, triggers may leak. 
And by leak, people use that word a lot in the map making community. That means a memory leak. So if there's multiple memory leaks that happen, every occurrence that the trigger happens, um, that will basically like create stuff in the map. And this makes it basically makes your FPS drop down drastically. It can go down to one FPS, depending how severe uh, the leak is in the game. So there are different ways to make them leak proof. And there, there's going to be future tutorials how they exactly do that. So the triggers are based on three categories, events, conditions, and actions. Something we're going to be exploring a lot more in the future, but we're going to be keeping it very easy today. So first, we're going to be starting with new event. That is always required. Conditions are not always uh, required, but events are always needed. And there's different base things. And we're going to be using called unit, unit enters region. And we're going to choose that region by clicking this red button. And you can choose it from here, from the menu. We can also just select the region and it allows us clicks into the actual map. So we're going to be clicking here, K West. Unit enters to the K West. Okay. Then we have to choose the action. What happens when the unit enters to the cave, to the region? So we're going to be choosing from here, unit move unit instantly you can choose uh well in any type of a thing you know uh you could technically have a wait time it takes a certain amount of time until they travel from the other side to the other and get a sake of reliability but most people don't want that so in, in this case we can change the v triggering unit to many things but uh usually are like made to have a certain type of a recommendation or condition here we can luckily use the triggering unit here so we're going to leave that and instantly uh, change this into playable map area. We're going to change it into a uh, region instead. We don't want it to go to the middle of the map. We want it to go to the end of the cave. And that's done. Okay. This is a one way teleportation. So what we have done now is once that this food man enters here, he will instantly teleport into this location. Okay, that's the simplest thing, and obviously you can do it vice versa. Basically, clone the, uh, you know, the code that we just created in order to um, uh, make it work both ways. Then we can also, if we wanted to have that, the teleportation can be only done once. We can have a system where, for the sake of testing, we're going to be doing this. So there is a thing called turn off turn this trigger off so once the unit is moved to the other place the trigger is going offline which means they cannot be used again and that means that it's a one time we can we could technically like create an effect that there would be spawning some doodads after uh the unit enters the cave like making it seem like it collapses or something it can't be used anymore or there might be other storytelling reasons or balance reasons why it can be only used once. There are many reasons why you want, want to do this, but basically that's how we're going to be doing it. So now let's jump into the actual testing. Okay, so now that we are inside the map, we can be actually testing the triggers themselves. So let's try the uh, tunnel one first. So we go into the cave and we are instantly teleported to the other side of the cave. Let's try it again. Does it work again if we move there? And as you can see, it doesn't work anymore because we made the trigger turn off. The cave, quote unquote, has been collapsed. It cannot be worked anymore. And here on the other side, we have the way gates that we just created, moving to this location like that and moving again backwards. That's how easy the way gate ability is. Technically, you can also have five way gates and all of them bring you to a one location. So you can, they're just not to be linked between two. It can be 10 directing into a one place or five pointing into a one and five pointing to another. So there are many ways to play with the teleport systems through items and also obviously through uh, the triggers that we just showed you. There's many more uh, complicated versions of how to do them and more leak free and betterly done. And obviously you can choose such things like only a certain unit can go through this cave. We can make an option that 
okay, only boats can go through. You can make uh, uh, these gates also in the sea. So we can create a teleportations in the sea, sea caves. We can make also that flying units can't go through the caves. And these type of things can be created with the triggers. There's many, many different possibilities what you can do with, and there's many, many cool ideas that you can do. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials.